Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a nurse practitioner and clinical educator here at Echinos. Today, I'm going to walk through how to use Cosmos Bladder. Using state-of-the-art AI automation, Cosmos Bladder is a new generation of bladder scanner, making bladder volume calculation easier and more accurate. Let's complete a quick walkthrough using Cosmos Bladder. First, I'm going to select the Cosmos app. Next, select the bladder preset to start your scan. Next, select either pre-void volume or post-void volume. On Cosmos Bladder, we have a low volume workflow and a high volume workflow. We did this because it allowed us to adjust the sensitivity of the scanner, as well as making bladder volume calculation not as dependent on your scanning technique. If you're not sure which option to select, use your best judgment, and the AI will direct you to the correct workflow once you start scanning if needed. For this patient, we're going to select pre-void volume. We will be obtaining two views of the bladder to make the calculation, the transverse and sagittal views. A transverse ultrasound view shows a cross-section of your body, while a sagittal view shows a side view. Let's start with the transverse view. Apply gel to the ultrasound probe. Position the probe so that the orientation marker faces the patient's right hip. Using firm downward pressure, place the probe so that it is midline on your patient, in line with the belly button, and just above the pubic bone. Angle the probe down towards the feet so that the bladder comes into view. Cosmos AI will identify and highlight the bladder. If the bladder is not centered on the screen, it will appear yellow with an arrow indicating how to recenter the bladder. Once the bladder is centered, it will change from yellow to green, and you will be instructed to start fanning. Fanning the probe is when you gently tilt the probe back and forth along the axis in this motion. To complete this step in the transverse view, fan from head to toe. If you're conducting a post-void scan, no fanning is needed. The AI will automatically take a picture and measure where it sees the largest cross-section of the bladder. With the transverse view complete, you will be prompted to rotate the probe 90 degrees, so that the probe orientation marker is now facing the patient's head, and we can obtain the sagittal view. Hit Continue to Next View. Again, center the bladder on the screen so that it appears green. Then start your fan, this time tilting the probe from hip to hip for the sagittal view. Once the AI captures the sagittal view, you will be directed to the results screen where you will see your bladder volume measurement. You can choose to accept the results or scan again and go back and rescan the patient's bladder if you're not happy with your scan. Obtaining a sagittal view can sometimes be challenging, especially in extremely low bladder volume states. After 45 seconds of no bladder being detected on your screen, you will be prompted with the bladder undetected pop-up. This pop-up will remind you to make sure you are using correct positioning and also provide you with the option to skip to results. Cosmos Bladder will provide you with an estimated bladder volume based on the transverse reading alone. After 45 seconds of no bladder being detected on your scan in both the transverse and sagittal view, Cosmos Bladder will again prompt the user with the bladder undetected pop-up, which indicates that either the probe is not positioned correctly or the bladder volume is very low. Cosmos Bladder empowers users to complete a quick and accurate bladder scan with state-of-the-art AI technology. Adjusting the body type may be necessary for some patient exams. Cosmos Bladder defaults to a medium body type, which includes a BMI of less than 30. By selecting the body type setting, you can adjust the setting and select deep for a BMI of 30 or greater, or shallow for a body weight that is less than 27 kilograms. Gain allows you to adjust how light or dark the image appears. The default gain is set to 50%, and in most cases does not need to be adjusted. By tapping the gain icon, you can then drag the slider to the desired gain level. If you want to assign patient information to your scan, simply press the plus icon. Enter in the relevant patient information and then hit scan. 
From here, complete the scan as you would normally. To pull up the saved scan, select the exams button. The exam will be listed with the patient information you previously entered, as well as other saved exams. Exams completed without patient information will be assigned a temporary ID, as well as a date and timestamp. The key to getting a great scan involves correct probe positioning and handling. Make sure the probe is positioned low enough on the patient. The probe should sit just above the pubic bone. Angle the probe down towards the feet and use firm downward pressure with enough ultrasound gel. Reach out on our website, echinos.com, to connect with a local Echinos representative to learn about the expanded capabilities of your Cosmos system. The Cosmos system can be used for ultrasound-guided IV, point-of-care ultrasound imaging, including heart, lung, abdomen, and so much more. Thank you.